Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to new video and in this video, we're going to create this big scene right here. So, let's get started. So, before you start, what you want to do, you want to go to settings, plugins, and here make sure to enable water, uh, yes, water perimeter. Make sure to enable this. And now, we want to create lights. So, go to indoors, and with that mixer, Create skylight, create atmosphere light, create sky atmosphere, create volume cloud and head fog. Now go down and make sure to enable volumetric fog here. Now you can make a new folder if you want. So let me just make it. Now we can start by creating a landscape. So go to landscape, seven into sorry. You have select 15 to 60 quads, and if you want, you can choose a material. So, I have chosen a material here, download it from aka bridge. And now, let's create. Now, uh, we have a landscape. Then, if we, uh, we can create our water or ocean. So, here, set for water, body, ocean. And if you don't find it here, so uh, don't worry, go here, all classes, water above the ocean, and drag it down to a scene, just like so. And place it wherever you want it. For me, I want it here. And as you can see, we don't want this big land because our scene is going to be small. So just select water body ocean, select these small points, and drag it here. And just like this, we have a small island, and this is what we want. Okay, good. And now, as you can see, there is an issue. Uh, there is a bit awkward. So, to fix this, select water body ocean. Yes, select water body ocean and drag it, it up, it down. Uh, like this, yes. Now, as you can see, our ocean is looking a bit weird because obviously, in real life, oceans does not look like this. So, what you're gonna do when I go to water body ocean and drag down and search for wave attribution water depth and set it to something like 8000 and don't look crazy, it will make to look very plain surface and now as you can see our ocean is looking a bit more realistic uh, this is what it should be looking like now we can do some changes to our uh, island so go to water body ocean and here search for O you will find it under water height map settings facts color lines here is the sum of the settings which you want to change so I'm just going to play with this value. So see if I set it to something like super night. So as you can see, our landscape goes a bit crazy. A bit smooth curves, which you see in islands. So I'm just going to play with this go amounts and tiling. So let me do this. So maybe something like this I want. Now we can start 
by adding the camera. So here, search for scene and camera actor. And if you don't find it here, go here, cinematic, scene camera actor, drag it to your scene. And now, right click on the scene camera actor. And here, snap object of view. And you can pilot. And now, we want to do some changes in our camera. So here, boom back, let's do 16 to 9 DSLR. And here, you get a cinematic view. And in focal length, set it to something like 12. You get a wide angle view. Okay, so it looks good. Now we can do the expose of now. So here is for exposure, measuring mode, expose the compensation, and here select manual and set it to something like 10. Like that. And now we can place our camera. Uh, yes, it looks good. A bit front. Okay, so that looks good. Now, we're gonna change the position of a sun. But before that, go to lights and you hide the volume to cloud and select the directional light and move it. I'm gonna be setting up this in horizon somewhere here. Yes, that looks good. And now we want to increase the source angle. And now Let's enable our volumetric cloud and now let's tweak our volumetric cloud. I'm going to set this on the web base. Okay, so that looks cool. Now, we want to change the exposure, maybe. And here, it's the 11. Okay, that looks cool. And now, let me do some last changes. So, hopefully, you learned something. Make sure to like and subscribe. So take care. Bye.